It's very important to practice safety when we are in the laboratory. We will be in here doing lots of experiments and you need to know where all of the lab safety equipment is and how to properly use it. So I'm going to point out 11 pieces of equipment that you need to know where they are and how to use them. The, in class you're going to have an assignment where you will be labeling these different pieces of equipment so it's very important that you know where they are. The first one is the MSDS notebooks. There are two binders. A through L has every single chemical that Geyer has in its possession. There is an MSDS for each one and the MSDS gives lots of helpful information about the chemical. For example, it tells you what to happen if you spill it on you or what to do uh, or where to place it, like where it needs to be stored. It gives you lots of information about every single chemical we have at Geyer. So these are the MSDS notebooks. This is an eye wash. There are three in our lab, so this is one of them. And when you get something in your eye, you want to squeeze the handle and hold it in your eye for at least 15 minutes to wash out any kind of chemical that could be harmful to your eye. This is another eye wash fountain. To use it, you're going to push the handle. The water will come out and will automatically flush out your eyes. You don't have to hold it like the other eye wash that I showed you. This is a safety shower. And it's used when you get chemicals all over your body and it has to be washed off. Then you will come and get under the safety shower to rinse your entire body. There are three exits in the lab that we will use if there is ever a fire or when we have fire drills. This will be the first exit that we would go out of to exit the building. This would be a secondary exit to use if the first exit is not available to exit the building. The door into our classroom would be the third exit. We would not use this one unless it's absolutely necessary. If someone's hair or clothes are on fire, then you need to go grab the fire blanket out of the cabinet, take this off, put it around the person, and then they would need to stop, drop, and roll to smother the fire. We do not use the safety shower for a fire. That is strictly for chemical spills only. When an inanimate object, like your lab table, or a sink is on fire, then we grab the fire extinguisher. We never use this on people. Uh, the way that you use it is you pull the pin, you take the hose, aim it at the base of the fire, and then squeeze the trigger. And this is only used on things other than living things. The first aid kit sits on top of the goggle cabinet, and it contains things we might need in the lab like burn cream or peroxide for cuts, band-aids, things like that. So first aid kit, always a necessary piece of safety equipment in the lab. This is our safety goggle cabinet. We use this almost every single lab. We will use goggles and this will sanitize the goggles for us so that all the germs from previous classes, bacteria, those, all those things are, are killed so that they're safe for you to put on your face doesn't mean they'll be clean looking. You may still want to rinse them under the sink and get a paper towel and wash them off, but at least the germs are dead. This is called a fume hood, and it is used when we have chemicals that are giving off fumes that we don't need to be breathing in while we're in the lab. So the chemical will be inside of the fume hood, and the vent, will be on that's sucking the fumes out of the building so that we are not breathing it. And this keeps us from getting sick from fumes in the room. This is our broken glass box. Anytime we have broken glassware in the lab, it has to go in the broken glass box. You never put broken glass in a trash can because somebody could cut themselves, especially the janitors or the custodians when they take the trash out. 
So always make sure broken glass goes in a broken glass box like this. This is the spill kit. When you have spills in the lab, you can't always just clean them up with a paper towel and throw the paper towels away. So anytime there's a spill, make sure that you get special instructions from the teacher. And this is what you'll use to clean up with. If you've got a, an acid or a base spill, we have to use this neutralizer first before we can clean it up. If we have something slippery, we can put sand on it so that others don't slip while the spill is on the floor. And then we also have this, which is cat litter that absorbs the liquid. And then you can clean it up safely. We have a broom and a dust pan here as well. And this can be used to help clean up as well. This is the third eye wash in the classroom. So one that we hopefully don't have to use because there's not a sink around it. So uh, definitely want to save this one as a last resort, but it works the same as the first one that I showed you. This is the second fume hood in the lab. And so just like the first fume hood, we will put chemicals in it that are giving off fumes so that we don't smell them. 